I wanted them to sort of grapple with the context of the fireside chat and really think about what was happening then and how that was influencing what FDR was going to talk about um, and think about the uncertainty that surrounded 1935. And so what I had students do was actually to visualize that and to draw what that looked like to them um, during their warm-up contextualization exercise. They, I, I feel that students too often think of FDR as a savior and think of the New Deal as without critics. And I think that too often people believe that everyone was on board with the New Deal when the reality was that people had their doubts and people still had their nagging concerns about um, whether the New Deal plan would work. They've, they've read in the textbook about FDR at this point. They know about the fireside chats. They know a lot about the Great Depression. And this is getting towards the end of the unit on FDR, looking at how FDR is trying to convince the people that his plan is going to um, change the course of the country and bring the country out of the deep, deep recession that it was in. Listen for his tone. Listen for how he's saying these words. And think about how that's important to understanding the context of 1935 here. For the overwhelming majority of people in this country know how to sift the wheat from the chaff in what they hear and in what they read. They know that the process of the constructive rebuilding of America cannot be done in a day or a year. It was, it was nice to have students listen to FDR's voice and give kids a good sense of um, of the year 1935, thinking about what, what listening to a radio would have been like and think about how FDR used his voice and used tone and used his reassuring uh, metaphors to really capture the, his audience. The next step was to have students then draw or label some of the uncertainties or what they were um, concerned about in the year of 1935. Imagine that you're listening to one of FDR's fireside chats for a moment and draw a picture of what that looks like. What does that look like to you? Stick figures, fine. And this one student draws uh, a picture of a family listening to, listening to the radio. He's worried about money. This family's worried about unemployment, family, poverty, jobs, death, homelessness, food. Um, so they're really, they're getting the context and they were really thinking about what it would have been like to listen, listen to the radio at the time. And but I did notice one student who had, he had drawn a homeless family um, that was pressed up against a shop window listening to the radio at a shop um, instead of listening to this at home, which of course is, again, really capturing some of the context of the times and I was excited to see him uh, draw that.